subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button. Click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel. With the recent criminal indictment of 12 Russian intelligence agents, the special counsel's office made clear it has a treasure trove of information for its investigation into Russia's interference in the 2016 presidential election. What's less obvious is how long Robert Mueller will continue his work. The indictment could be the high point for his team. Or it could be simply the crest of one of several coming waves. An investigative interview of President Donald Trump, likely regarding Mueller's probe into whether the president obstructed justice, still hangs in the air. So do the legs of the investigation involving former campaign chairman Paul Manafort's role on the campaign and involving former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn's cooperation with investigators. There are already some signs that Mueller's office is prepared for an ultimate wind down. Prosecutors from the U.S. Attorney's Office in Washington and the Department of Justice's National Security Division are working on cases brought by Mueller, signaling that they'll see them through if the special counsel's office disappears before the court actions conclude. And federal prosecutors in Manhattan separate from Mueller are handling the investigation into the president's former personal attorney, Michael Cohen which may touch on payments to women with whom Trump allegedly had extramarital affairs during the campaign. Even so, Mueller still appears to be shepherding several related investigations that Deputy Attorney General Rod Rosenstein laid out in a memo for Mueller last August. The memo appears to describe the scope of the investigation point by point. Almost a full page of the discussion of Mueller's scope is still hidden from public view. Chiefly, there's no conclusive public finding yet into whether Trump intended to obstruct justice or knew of illegal coordination, if there was any, between his campaign and the Russian government. A conclusion may not come before the end of the year, given the timing of the midterm elections. Under Justice Department custom, Prosecutors generally avoid overt investigative steps and returning indictments against a candidate for office within 60 days of an election. That rule is not set forth in any official policy or regulation, however. Mueller could always ask Rosenstein for an exception. Or he could look at the example of former FBI Director James Comey, who was roundly criticized for making a statement on the investigation into Hillary Clinton's emails 11 days before the 2016 presidential election. The possibility of an investigatory interview with Trump has haunted the Oval Office for half a year now, as the president's then attorneys John Dowd and Ty Cobb, and later Rudy Giuliani and others, have gone back and forth with Mueller. If the two sides cannot reach an agreement, a grand jury subpoena to force Trump to talk could be in the works. That would likely lead to a fight over presidential power under the Constitution, and may end up at the Supreme Court. Perhaps Mueller doesn't need Trump on the record. He already has dozens of witness interviews, plus hundreds of Trump's own tweets public speeches and on-camera interviews. If Mueller chose not to indict the president, he will likely present his findings in a report to Congress. That could include a recommendation to impeach Trump. Former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn cut a plea deal with investigators last December. There has been no apparent conclusion to that part of the investigation, and the amount of information Flynn has given them hasn't yet become public. Flynn has spoken with prosecutors about his conversations during the presidential transition. Those conversations relayed details from the Russian ambassador to senior Trump campaign officials including Jared Kushner, according to his charging documents. At a court appearance last week, a federal judge made clear Flynn hasn't been sentenced yet for lying to investigators because he continues to cooperate with prosecutors. That signals that more criminal cases related to what Flynn knows could be coming. Former Trump campaign chairman Paul Manafort has been charged on crimes related to his Ukrainian lobbying and financial disclosures. Manafort says he is not guilty and is awaiting two trials with the first set to start July 25. Trick Gates, Manafort's longtime deputy and another top Trump campaign and inauguration official, hasn't appeared in public since he pleaded guilty in February to lesser charges than he first faced. Gates is now helping Mueller's office, 
likely with the prosecution's cases against Manafort. He could also be contributing to other parts of the investigation. Mueller's team initially sought Gates' help to accomplish its central mission of investigating the campaign and Russian collusion, CNN reported in March. Prosecutors haven't yet seen.